Hey everyone, Rent here, and welcome back to the 30 Days of Xenomorph, and today we're running a Perma Exhaustion build, so let's go ahead and break it down real quick. First, we have Fearmonger, whenever survivors are repairing generators, they'll be afflicted with the Blindness and Exhausted Status Effect, and this will persist for 5 seconds after they leave the generator. Second, we have Blood Echo. Whenever we hook a survivor, all other injured survivors suffer from the Hemorrhage and Exhaustion Status Effects for 45 seconds. Third, we have Skirchuk Pain Resonance. Whenever we hook a survivor on a Skirchuk, the gem with the most progress is going to detonate for 25%. Last but not least, we have Skirchuk Gift of Pain. Whenever a survivor is unhooked from a Skirchuk, they'll suffer from the hemorrhage and mangled status effects until they're fully healed. The first time they are fully healed, they will suffer a 16% speed penalty to healing and repairing actions until they're injured again. As far as add-ons, we have Ripley's Watch, Whenever a turret removes our crawler mode, it will be automatically destroyed. And to combine it with Brett's cap, destroying a turret will cause all survivors within 16 meters to suffer from the blindness status effect. Overall, it should be a really fun and solid build, so let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. Alright, Gyro Square, I feel like we're just going to get this so much, but man do I love this skin. Uh, go probably back there. Devour Pentimento is nice, yeah. I'm gonna take a gamble. Okay. Nope. That's fine. Hold up. Cool. Got it. Oh my god. I cannot believe I got that flick, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe could go through that window. Oh, doesn't matter. Cool. We want to try and get to a pain res if we can. Or a uh, skirt hooks. We have gift as well. We'll break that one normally because we're not in our power yet. But we're going back here, so. Having this long wall here really sucks. Do you have something over here? No. I thought maybe she had a uh, turret up. Now you do. Thank you. We'll go for him. Remember, we're kind of auto-breaking turrets with that. That's why we're doing a uh, pseudo hit and run build. The downside here is that she has such a distance. Oh, you better put it down. There we go. Cool. Realize that's your movement speed. You'll get back to the pallet either way because of this long wall here, which actually makes this really safe. Makes it actually insanely safe, but she took the wrong way. Like, she made it very, very safe and then went the wrong direction. All right. Got a pain res back there. Oh, I have one over here. This one's better to utilize for sure. Because it gets me to that gen a little quicker as well. Have we gotten the event skin for not yet? No. I got to work on that. One gamer right here. Nice. It's actually the exact person we want to see too. So he's fully exhausted right now. That works. Cool. Uh, I think I'm going to save his skirt hook. I just want to go straight to a hook. Uh, I mean, I can utilize it, actually, now that I think about it. I got enough pressure out there where we get value off of this. So, it's not the worst thing. Who is it here? Ada, that works. Again, she's really big at doing like the really sharp turns. Nice. There we go. Got her. That's the problem, is like you have to kind of gamble what you think is gonna happen. We're gonna grab this and turn it. Uh we'll go. Let's still go for the save now. I'll drop it. I'll, I'll move right over here and drop. Alright, that's fine. 
That was a big mistake on his part. He should have never done that. Cause it for it allows me to force him to go to stage two. Like I don't, I can wait. No. Nope. Ooh, he made the swap though. I was actually surprised he was able to get the swap in time. Big blood echo. What's going on, gamer? I got a lot of time here. Ooh, actually, you know what? Just in case of, uh, one second. Things kind of annoying me. No other reason. I don't need to get rid of it, but it was annoying. There it is. And that's all of our pain res, so. I mean, to be fair, you kind of run into me here, gamer. I was hopeful. She's not making any noise. She is off the record. So does he, though. Click, click. Thankfully, I don't get too distracted by the clicking. But I don't know if I want to be over here either. And now we get put in Blood Echo one more time. What do you think about the recent update for Shard Square? Uh, it's okay. Nothing special. Uh, it adds more pallets, less safe pallets. It's probably okay for like the grand scheme of things, but I don't know. I think adding pallets is always like a risky game, to be fair with you. Who's going for the save? Was it the Ada? It was. A real nice thing about the build is I pretty much never, as long as I spread like pressure out early, I never have to worry about made for this. And we can kind of ignore uh, turrets as well. I see, this is smart. We'll get rid of the turret naturally. There we go. Another turret over there. I wonder why he has all the turrets here. Seems odd. No one else is here, so they're at other gens. Oh well, not interested. Oh. Here it is. Howdy. Nice. I didn't realize there was like debris in my way. I shouldn't be going technically for like a tail strike there because it's just less efficient, but you know, I wanted to go for it. I wanted to have a little bit of fun with it. Yeah. She's looking out for it. Like, that's the thing with. Uh... Okay, I thought I heard somebody a minute ago. Um, that's the thing with Xenomorph is that you kind of get to a point where it's just almost always better to not even use your power, which is something I'm not always a fan of. But, what are you gonna do? Don't mind me, just gonna follow the blood. I don't really wanna be over here, but I don't have a reason not to be either. Nice one, man. Oh, I saw him just last second. Kind of halting me here. Cool. Cool. We kind of had him where, like, I do like the auto break so much because survivors have to take time to get those like turrets out. People don't realize how much time that actually takes out of, like, a normal game. It's quite a bit. Ooh, I didn't know you could skim by that. 
Oh, I didn't realize there was the vault there either. We got so many pallets left on the map though. There we go. Uh, GG's. Oh my god, he almost had it. There we go. Yeah, seven. I was doing like three or four games for every single game of like uh, the 30 days of Xeno, but it seems like a lot of people would kind of tam tamper off with like just two being used since we do like more builds and stuff. But I'll have to mess with that here in a bit. Yeah, I want to do it for the next uh, 30 days. All right. We're here. Yeah. Oh, you messed up. Something fierce. I'll take it. We're not going to get any blood echo value or anything like that, but we can definitely get a little bit of pain res and gift of pain value. Oh my god, I got like super pulled into that. And I have one survivor here. Kind of running off into a corner. Um. Hi. Not a bad spot. Okay. There we are. Hold that for me. Now we can get good blood echo value and pain res for your monger. We didn't want to pick up a hook right there, by the way, because we have, well, I guess we could have. I just wanted to get a little bit more pressure out there beforehand, but I didn't realize we had two nearby search hooks. So, give and take. Maybe I should have. All right. Problem pain res is add-ons. Yeah, he needs an add-on rework. Hi. Remember, the survivor doesn't have any uh, exhaustion perks right now. So, no MFT or anything like that in play. Cool. Give the pain up. Well, I guess it didn't matter because they kind of got all healed up. So, we weren't going to get a lot of value off of Blood Echo there. Well, we weren't going to be able to redo Blood Echo. All the turrets are out right now, so they're on gens. But they're also saving really, really quickly. Oh my, I hate that. That was Destiny's shot. We had her. I mean, I am a one, you know, 115 killer. <laughs> Here we go. Why get to paint over sloppy? I want the uh, gen slowdown. And we're playing more chase oriented. We do a little bit of hit and run, but I kind of just want the, yeah, I just want the just slow down. I'm guessing we're back here. We got a little pressure there, not much. We are high. I haven't seen you all game. Nice little turn. That was like a perfect timing on the turn. I think it was kind of a random guess, but it was still nice. I need to get my uh, clicks a little better here. There we go. Or at least my way of following here a little bit better. Dude, I hate these like things right here. My gosh. There we go. 
Like, I should be able to hit through here. But because the way the tail starts on the right and kind of comes down almost, it always hits that. Which feels really bad. The Fang Min is about ready to be exhausted and have the, uh, blood, well, from Blood Echo. Guessing back here. We got them at, like, really bad spot. Oh, whoops. Hold up, actually. That might be a second wind. Which would actually be really, really nice. I feel like the tail and the skin is smaller. I don't feel any difference in the, like, hitbox. Oh. Here we are. We'll go for a hookup. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it does take up more screen. I did feel that way when I played with the skin, too. Is that I felt like the tail took up a lot more, like, space. But I'm not positive. It could also just be because it uh, has the bright orange on it as well. All right. We got to get into a tunnel, I think, and catch them off guard. Only two of the turrets are out right now. Yeah. He wasn't able to get the fastball. Definitely takes up. Hold up. A. We even got the DC. Feels good. Yeah, one of the big slowdowns right now that's playing a part, I think, is Gift of Pain. So, because you remember the uh, person named Forward Director there, they've kind of been hurt in terms of, like, they have that constant slowdown right now from the uh, being able to work on vents. Hi. Got Not Safe for Work Joker and Blaze. Free drop. No free drop. There we go. Go. Ooh, you guys got the gen actually done over here. Is it Claudette? We haven't really seen all game yet. But who's definitely in this locker? She didn't run anywhere. So it made it kind of easy to tell. And she didn't walk because we would have seen her. We have you inside. Hi. Nice. We, are we just going to run around this now? Oh, we've moved. Okay. There we go. I always enjoy a cool tower. You kind of spawn in the middle here. Okay. Hi. We're going to get another like quick down. We are. Wow. Oh, she went and put a turret out first too. Oh no, somebody else had put a turret out. Thank you. You gonna take another one? That wasn't the best use, but we actually just exhausted this survivor for our chase, so. Not horrible, not amazing. I wanna keep the survivor here, I think. Ooh, we didn't stay here. That's a bummer. Oh, 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 you would. We got the auto break. It's fine. Downside is I don't have exhaustion on this survivor. Hey, buddy.
Okay. Ah, yeah, they got the heal. Do you think they went into the shack is the question. Over there. Okay. Well, we know where they healed up, and they we know they have exhaustion. And they only have one of their turrets out right now. I have to be careful of this right here. Oh my gosh, I messed it up so badly. We got him to duck. It was a bit of a mistake on his part. I'll take the free hit though. Running the mangled add-ons is also a really good idea. But I also just really enjoy everything about auto break. Probably here. Maybe? Someone's getting in the locker. Someone's getting out of the locker. Hi, how you doing? You come here often. I feel like that stagger pulls you a bit, but probably just, you know, my thoughts and feelings and whatnot. I see. We have balance landing. We actually had balance landing. I like it. You never see it. Gonna drop. He's gonna go for the vault. Uh, we have to chase this way, unfortunately. Otherwise, he gets vault. So. I'm more surprised he didn't take the vault originally, though. We got two of them out. We'll chase him down real quick. Remember the, uh... Nellorano guy? I can't think of survivor names right now for some reason. Don't mind me. Like that should hit. Oh well. Got him. Well, I was gonna say is the two survivors who are healed right now have gift of pain, so it does like hit them pretty hard. It takes a lot longer to do a gen when you have like gift of pain in play. That time adds up very very quickly. Hi. Yeah, I'm betting that's where both of them were at. By the way. Nice, hold up. We have over here. I think we'll chase this person instead for now. I know it's not going to get like the second stage, but not bad either. And allow us to get some value out of Blood Echo. Blood Echo's in play. And I believe we have ever, we've hooked everyone once, except for what, maybe Chris? I just don't know if we just maybe didn't hook him up. Oh, they're healing big time over here. That was such a fast heal. Here you are. Okay. We'll hook him up. That's fine. Alright. Yeah. I don't think we got the best value of pain res this game, just because we kind of utilize our guard chokes not the most effective, but we will get good value of gift of pain. Oh, she messed up. That works for me. I do like that skin though. Uh, up you go. Yeah, I think the next build we'll probably end up doing with, uh, hold on, with Zeno is going to be, like, with I'm All Ears. I think we can pull off some really fun snipe shots with I'm All Ears. Goes for pallet. Fakes pallet. Doesn't fake the pallet. Ah, that's the bro bother sometimes. 
We still got it though. I really like how you crawl through the tunnels. It's much easier to orient yourself. Uh, I try and think about it. Get held forward for quite a while here. Uh, I mean. Ball? No. I thought maybe I could snag it. Downside is I couldn't. Got you. That works for me. I probably could have chased her back around into this. In order to get a little bit more oomph out of it. But right now we have plenty of pressure. Like you could chase her back around and then break the pile on the other side. That's probably the most effective way of doing that. Uh, but she could hold forward either way. I think she was just kind of waiting to see what we were going to do. Fair enough. Am I over it? No, we're fine. Going over here? Not really. Okay. Oh, hi. Caught me off guard. Oh, man. Oh, we were able to get it. Now we get the blood echo on the last two. I think she was close enough to get blindness, so. There's only one pallet to really play on up here. Blood echo one more time. Let's get in here and see if we can get the oblivious. There it is. Hello. I wonder where she was at. Hi. Nice to see me streaming. Just found me on YouTube the other day. I love the videos. Thank you so much, man. Happy to have you here. 